an important don't waste your money alert for anyone with a coffee maker at home or at work. When is the last time you cleaned it? I mean really cleaned it. Joanne Purton shows us what else may be brewing in there. Do you ever clean your home coffee maker? One mom is wondering if hers may be causing her health problems after opening it up and finding something very unpleasant inside. Stephanie Braun loves coffee, but for the past six months, she's been having a bad reaction to her morning cup of joe. I always have my coffee at home and within three sips, um, having severe reactions. So when a friend forwarded her some articles about mold and bacteria in coffee pots, this busy HR manager brought her coffee maker to work and opened it up. It was horrifying. I, horrifying it was my reaction. She couldn't believe what was under the top. Several years of calcium buildup along with a brownish substance that looked like mold. Now some coffee makers are very easy to clean. You get a glass carafe and a very simple to clean tank. But Stephanie's machine is not one of those. It is impossible unless you dismantle this machine, which I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> Nowhere in the instructions is there any information on how to dry out the water tank. Outside taking a hammer to it, I don't know how to open it up to see what's inside. She's sending a sample of the buildup to a lab. What can you do to protect your family? Most brands instruct owners to clean the machine regularly with white vinegar. It dissolves crud and helps disinfect. Stephanie says she has a message to everyone else with a home coffee maker. You need to be able to clean that area. Good Housekeeping Magazine suggests that once a month you run a vinegar cycle, empty the tank and leave the lid open to dry. That way you keep your machine clean and you don't waste your money. I'm Joanne Purton, 7 Action News. I'm going to take a really good uh -oh. look at that coffee maker on my desk. I, I think we uh, all are. <laughs> a